Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a new way to use mica powders in your epoxy. Normally, we always take our mica powders, we mix it into our resin, and then we pour it out on the surface. We also find by doing this that often our design will move as the epoxy starts to self-level. With this product, our fusion spray, we're actually able to put the mica powder exactly where we want it which allows us to do some really cool things because we're not faced with a lot of movement and design change. So guys, this newly reformulated fusion spray is absolutely amazing. I love it. I've used it several times, but I'm still learning and experimenting with all sorts of different ways to use it. So in this particular video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a really cool finish but then we're gonna push the limits. We're gonna see how far we can actually take our design. So stay tuned and let's just see what we come up with. All right, so what is Fusion Spray? So Fusion Spray is actual mica powder suspended in isopropyl alcohol. No VOCs, no harmful propellants. It's very, very simple. And the Fusion Spray come in 17 different flavors and we will carry them all on our website, rk3designs.com. All right, so like we explained, I'm going to just put down a nice coat of epoxy and then we're gonna play. You guys have to understand, we're gonna be learning together. There's a lot of things that we're gonna do on this video that I've never done before. So let's just see what happens. What I have right here is just pure, white epoxy. I've tinted it with the Alumilite white dye. And so that I have a little bit of interest going into this and so that the camera can kind of pick up a little better than just straight white, I'm going to come in with some black Alumilite dye and I'm literally going to put just a few drops, stir it just a couple of times so I have almost a little swirl going on. That's it. That's all we're going to do. I'm going to take my stick I'm gonna stir it around a little bit, and that is it. All right, so I'm gonna pour just a little bit out first because I should have done a skim coat first, but we're gonna do it really quickly now. I just want a little bit on the surface so that our epoxy really moves for us nicely. You can pull it really tight so you don't need a lot. Guys, if you are new to our channel, crush that subscribe button, please. So we make cool stuff every week. We also go live every week. Hit that bell so that you'll be notified every time we are active on YouTube. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't normally use a trial, but I don't wanna muddy this up too much by using my hand. So I'm gonna just very lightly come in here with the trial. Now we've got a lot of fun things that we're gonna do with this. So this is just step one. So we're using uh, right at four ounces per square foot. The reason we're using that much is because I wanna make sure I have plenty of product on the surface to be able to use my roller all right guys, so this is also a new product from Fusion. It's called Relax. And what it does is incredible. It pops the bubbles without having to use a torch. It is so cool. Very, very, very fine mist. Just spray a nice even flow and it'll take care of all your bubbles. First thing we're gonna do is our smoke white. So I'm just gonna put just random areas of this white. I'm putting it pretty thick as well. Now it's best after you spray it that you allow time 
to let that alcohol dissipate. All right, next we'll come in with our, let's come in with our black. Same thing, I'm just gonna kind of bring it down random areas. What I like about this is that you can get very creative with this. Put it just about wherever you want it in whatever design that you want. Let's come in with a little bit of mink gray. Guys, look what it's doing all by itself. I haven't even touched it yet. And look at the cool designs that it's giving. Again, there are no harmful fumes, unlike spray paint. Okay guys, here it is, my favorite. This is the Majestic Blue. I think that'll be, that'll be good. All right, let's take my roller now. Now what you don't wanna do is as soon as you spray this, you don't wanna hit it with any sort of heat. You don't wanna hit it with a torch, all right? You wanna make sure that, that alcohol has time to dissipate. All right, so I'm gonna take the roller. You could take a Bondo spreader. You could take a Magic Trial. I love the roller because I can really push that uh, epoxy around. So here we go. So we use a roller and kind of give the same effects as when we're doing floors. Kind of just push that epoxy around. I'm not really rolling the roller. I'm just kind of pushing that product. Now you could also tape your edges and you could use eight to 10 ounces per square foot and do our rolling stone technique, which is kind of what I'm doing here. By using more ounces per square foot, you'll get even more really cool designs. But remember, if you use that much product, you'll definitely want to tape your edges. Guys, look at this. This is incredible. Look at the design, I love it. Again, before you use that torch, you wanna make sure that you've allowed that product to sit on the surface long enough for the alcohol to dissipate. So let me tell you guys, look at what it's doing on its own. You have to be able to have patience with this. I'm using the art coat. You have plenty of time to allow the epoxy to kind of react and create some magnificent designs. Don't be in a hurry. Let the epoxy do its thing. So what I love about using the fusion spray is this is not gonna go anywhere. This pattern, this design is gonna stay. It's not gonna be like regular mica powders that I mix into my resin, which are going to sink. This is going to stay on top and it's gonna stay where I put it. So guys, can you tell I'm excited about this? I love this product. I absolutely love it. It comes in 17 colors. I can't wait to try every one of them. Okay, so this could be a finish literally all on its own, but we're gonna take it to the next step. Here we go. All right, let's get detailed with it now. All right, so I'm gonna come and find a place that's kind of boring. Let's find a place that's kind of boring right here. Now, one thing that you need to understand about this product, it is not a spray paint. So the minute you quit using it, the mica powders in the can are going to sink, okay? So you need to lightly shake it each and every time you're gonna spray it. So a couple of shakes and we're ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda come and put it right, right there. That's kinda fun. I'm gonna come put it over here. That's kinda fun. And one last place, maybe right here. All right, let's take our Bondo spreader. Again, I'm gonna let that alcohol dissipate before I start doing any kind of fun design manipulation. All right, Bondo spreader, you can use a popsicle stick, you can use your fingers actually, but I love a Bondo spreader. So I'm gonna come in here. Oh my gosh, look, would you look at that? I <laughs> love it. Look at there, look at this. Look at that, y'all. And it's still, it's still kind of doing its thing. That's way cool. Let's put a little couple of little blue shots here. I'm gonna put a shot of blue here and a shot here and play with it a little bit. 
All right, that's cool. Let let let's see what it'll do. Let's let's just leave it alone and see what it'll do. Well, look at that. All right, here we go. So all I'm doing is kind of taking that bondo spreader, and I'm I'm kind of going in and twisting and turning. That's how I'm kind of getting that design. All right, so here's our last piece that we did. Let's come in the top of. Let's come over with white on this one. See what we can do. Here we go. Okay, what do you think? So, so cool. Let's hit it with the relax one more time. I've got a few bubbles that I created when I used the Bondo spreader, and I'm gonna show you how it's going to pop those bigger bubbles. Now, I would not want to use the torch at this point because remember, when you use a torch, you're heating that epoxy and that will cause the epoxy to become fluid, thinner basically, and it can cause it to move. That's why I don't like to use a lot of heat when I create designs because once I get my design where I want it, I don't want to heat it and maybe take a chance on it moving. So this Relax Spray lets me get rid of the bubbles without anything moving. So here we go. All right guys, so I've showed you a couple of different ways to use it. One other way I really like to do this is you can come up nice and high and you can do a very fine mist over your entire piece so that it's very, very light and that mica will only be visible if you look at it from a certain direction. It's not gonna be a bold, bold area. It's just gonna give your whole piece a little bit of sheen. So I'm gonna do that right now with my smoke white. All right, remember when you do this, you wanna do it nice and high so that you're just dusting the surface. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. It's just enough to catch your eye and give it a little bit of a sheen. This can be a finish all on its own, but guess what guys, we're gonna go to the next step. I told you from the beginning, we're gonna push this thing to the very limit. So let me know in the comments below, where would you stop? Because I'm gonna keep going. All right, here we go, isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna very lightly hit it and get some fractures and see what happens. Let me know if you like it. Nice and high. I don't wanna shoot across my piece. I wanna shoot down. So I'm gonna lift the bottle up nice and high. And as I squeeze the trigger, I'm gonna just barely hit it. I'm not putting a lot of that alcohol. I'm just barely squeezing that trigger. You guys don't have to do your whole piece with alcohol. I just wanted to show you what it would look like. The fun part is we can come back with a Bondo spreader and while it's reacting, I can come back in and I can kind of create areas where I don't want there to be a reaction. So I can come and kind of drag. Ooh, I kind of don't want to do too much of it because I like what this reaction's getting. But if I want to take away some of that reaction here, I can hit it right there drag it. So I can actually kind of take away some of that effect with just dragging this Bondo spreader. And by having some areas with the reaction and some areas without reaction, that in itself is a really cool design element. So guys, I encourage you to do a lot of sample boards. That's how we learn. That's how we kind of push it to the limit and decide what we wanna do on our actual project. I also encourage you to always video you yourself. Put your phone up there, just video the process. That way you can see the progression and decide at what point do you wanna stop. So how about we take it to one more step? Guys, we've been working on this piece for probably 45 minutes. My epoxy starting to really set up and get nice and thick, which is my favorite stage and Heck, we've gone this far, let's see what else we can do. I'm just gonna full send spray it. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, that was our black. This is our gray, our mink gray. All right, we'll come in with our white. 
we're almost making a geode design on top of everything that we've already done. And last but absolutely not least, let's come back in with our blue. Look at here. All right, here we go. I'm going to come in with my roller. And I'm this time I'm going to kind of follow that geode pattern that I kind of created. Guys, like I said, I am making this up <laughs> as I go. I'm having so much fun. They say, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And let me tell you, I absolutely love doing what I do, creating content for all you guys. And I appreciate you so much supporting RK3 Designs. Look at this, how fun. All right, let's move on down. Again, guys, I'm using the art coat and the art coat gives you so much open time to be able to create some of these absolutely amazing designs. So when we talk about open time, guys, what we're actually talking about is how long you actually can work this product. With the art coat you have, I've actually worked it up to two hours before. A lot of that does depend on your temperature and your humidity but it has an extremely long working time. Okay, I love this. I'm gonna come back and add some details a little bit with my Bondo spreader. Now I'm just getting silly. I'm literally just having fun at this point, guys. I can imagine what some of you artists out there could do with this product. It is absolutely phenomenal. So guys, I can't even tell you how excited I am about this. The mica powders are actually staying where I want them. They're not sinking um, like a lot of the mica powders that we use, they'll sink. So I'll have to wait a really long time and kind of wake the mica powders back up to create designs. But these mica powders are staying exactly where I want them and I'm able to create such cool effects and know that they're not gonna move. All right, I think I'm gonna walk away because I absolutely love this and I actually, <laughs> I'm actually gonna put this piece um, on our wall as a showcase piece uh, for all of our students to see. So guys, check out our hands-on classes. We're gonna teach you how to do this in a classroom environment. We're gonna be right there to walk you step-by-step, hand-in-hand. Uh, we've got a great staff, very knowledgeable, and uh, we have so much fun in our classes. Check out my website, rk3designs.com for a full list of our classes. All right, last thing I'm gonna do, hit it one more time. Okay guys, what do you think? I'm taking the gloves off and I'm walking away. Let me know in the comments below, do you love it? Where would you have stopped? Would you have pushed it to the limit like we did? Let me know. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Remember, you can buy all of these fusion sprays on our website, rk3designs.com. We do free shipping on all orders over $100. Same day shipping if you order before noon central time. So guys, until next time, remember, don't be scared, move forward, and be creative.